Happening now, a South Lincoln neighborhood has concerns about public safety. The Indian Village neighborhood is hoping to show the city how dangerous one intersection is. They say 10th and High Streets is in dire need of a stoplight. The overall goal is to improve the safety of that access to the park and the area so that um, so we can reduce crashes. It's all about reducing crashes. This is the intersection that Rosina Paolini is talking about. As you can see, there are no stoplights or crosswalks, and right across the street is Van Dorn Park. Paolini is a board member of the Indian Village Neighborhood Association. She says it's hard to cross when traffic is flying by at such high speeds. It is a blind sighted from both directions. You really can't see over the hill. The people go 50 miles an hour and up this road or to the south from Van Dorn. So both speed, noise, inability to cross. Um, we've actually timed it. Um, somebody on a bicycle can be there three or four minutes before finding a clear spot. I found a bicyclist who was trying to cross the intersection today. Here you can see her waiting for a gap in the traffic. She had to stop in the road by the median for a while before she was able to safely cross. She didn't want to go on camera, but she tells me she agrees that there needs to be a stoplight. Paolini says some people are forced to drive to the park to keep their families out of a dangerous situation. I do observe some of the um, younger folk actually in these apartments here that will go over three and four kids at a time and try to race across that 10th and high intersection. So far, they haven't been hit, but we have had um, two people hit in this intersection. The crashes Paolini is referring to happened back in 2020, within just a few months of each other. In March, a motorcyclist was killed after colliding with a pickup truck. A memorial display still sits at the intersection for the 21-year-old who died. And in July of that year, another motorcyclist was hit, suffering serious injuries. Paolini says this August, a team will do a walk audit, meaning they will tour the neighborhood and mark off a checklist of what they notice. Then they'll turn in their findings to the city in hopes of having their concerns addressed. And it's not just a stoplight they're hoping to work on. The group also wants to expand a bike trail in the neighborhood. You can read more on our website at klkntv.com.